Hello everyone and welcome back to another Apple Tree Surfboards Tech Talk video. And today we're going to talk about the flex in a kiteboard. Obviously we offer different construction types and every construction type comes uh, with different flex pattern and that makes quite a difference in, in how a board rides. But first of all, I want to quickly talk about how you actually perceive stiffness in a board because it's something that might it, it, it's much different than you might think because a lot of people think their board is really flexible while it's actually not because it could be some foams for instance are really soft and when the foam is really soft that the deck of the board actually springs in when you push in and you feel that as flex under your feet so it feels soft on their feet but it doesn't matter that the board itself or it doesn't mean that the board itself is flexible it's just your foot sinking into the board and some brands might also put really thick pads on the board and they might even make an indentation on the deck where your foot is and put an extra pad under the existing pad it makes the board makes the board feel really really soft and you perceive that as flex but it's actually not um, you can feel the actual stiffness of a board by doing a simple uh, demonstration that we're showing here. So you put your board uh, with the tail on the floor, for instance on a, on a slipper or flip-flop, and you grab one end, the nose of the board with one hand, put your other hand on the deck and then push it down and you can really feel how the entire board flexes because you can see the board flex, it's clearly visible in this video that the board flexes. Um, but it's not the, the pad that's being pushed in or the foam that's being pushed in. Now our boards at Apple Tree Surfboards have a really really strong foam core so if you squeeze them a little bit you will feel that they don't uh, you can't squeeze them in and they don't they don't feel uh, spongy when you when you squeeze the rail of the board they feel fairly stiff but the, the, the actual flex of the entire board is really there They're actually much more flexible than most of the competition boards now do you want flex in the board or do you want a really stiff board that's a very personal uh, choice um, a, a very flexible board can absorb chops a little bit better uh, some people who have knee problems or ankle problems, they, they feel that it's a, a little nicer on the knees and on the ankles. Uh, and also if you push it into a turn, especially if it's a fast flex pattern, it might release the energy back to you so it feels nice and springy. It's a big advantage of a, of a more flexible board. Uh, but actually a stiffer board, uh, some people they think they don't want it, but then they, they ride it and it's, it, they come back off the water and they're like, oh, this board is so nice, it's, it's so responsive because it's a, a, what, a, what a stiff board does for you, especially a carbon board, it gives you a lot of feedback in your riding. So you're very, you, you can ride really precisely and really feel the board's every move. But it's also a nervous kind of feeling, so it's something you have to like. And especially a carbon board is usually also very light. So a really light and really responsive board for some people can be too twitchy. Uh, there's another advantage of flex and that's um, that a more flexible board is actually better at absorbing impact of, for instance, landings and in freestyle. So it's a bit of a, you have to really decide what works for you because a stiffer board, you can load up more and you can actually freestyle easier on because it, it gives you that energy back when you push into a turn and then pop off the water. But when you impact the water, the stiffness is hard on the knees and it's actually less strong than a more flexible board because the more flexible board will, uh, will absorb the, the force of the impact. Now in foil boards, it's completely different. We'll make another video about a video about our foil board construction because in foil boards, you want stiffness all the way because the stiffness will give you the control over the foil, which is really far away from your feet through the mast and the board and the fuselage and the wings. You want to have that stiffness to have that control. And also when you're pumping the foil, like in dock starting or in surf foiling, you really want to have that stiffness to, to, to get the power down and, in, uh, and into the foil. But that's a very different story in surfboards it's super personal so I always advise people to try different boards try what you like feel what you like and and, um, and go for that one then as a final thought if you feel your board is a little bit too stiff 
what could be a solution is again back to where we talked about in the beginning if you put a really thick pad on a very stiff board you're you will perceive it as a more flexible board and it will be easier on the ankles and the knees both while still uh, having that really stiff board so um, yeah just a little bit of information about the stiffness in uh, in kite boards uh, hope you enjoyed and see you next time in the next f3 surfboards tech talk video